Good morning, Year 3. Welcome back to another comprehension activity. Today, we're going to be using another non-fiction text that contains lots of facts about a subject. Our non-fiction text today is all about... Saint Patrick. When you have listened to the non-fiction text, I'm going to be asking you some questions about it. Are you ready? What is a patron saint? A patron saint is a saint who looks after and guides a person or place. St. Patrick is the patron saint of Ireland and is very special to many Irish people. When was St. Patrick born? We do not know exactly when St. Patrick was born because he lived such a long time ago. People think that he was born in the 5th century. What were St. Patrick's family like? People think that St. Patrick's family were quite rich because his father had an important job in ancient Rome. They also think that his family were very religious because both his father and his grandfather had jobs in the church. Why did St. Patrick go to Ireland? St. Patrick was taken to Ireland by a group of pirates when he was 16 years old. He was made to work as an enslaved person. When did St. Patrick become religious? St. Patrick started to pray when he was an enslaved person. One night he heard a voice telling him that he would be able to go home soon because a ship was waiting for him. That night Patrick ran away. He found a ship and sailed away from Ireland. Patrick got to Britain three days later. He walked through the forest for 28 days and started to feel ill because he was so hungry. Patrick prayed that he would find something to eat soon. Suddenly, Patrick found a group of wild pigs in the forest. He knew that his prayers had been answered. Why did St. Patrick go back to Ireland? Patrick became a Christian priest when he got home. He heard a voice a few years later telling him to go back to Ireland and help the Irish people. He chose to go back to Ireland and teach people about Christianity. Patrick taught thousands of Irish people about Christianity and built lots of churches across the country. Why do people celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Patrick died on the 17th of March 461, after teaching people about Christianity for over 40 years. Many people in Ireland have never forgotten how special Patrick was to their country and celebrate St. Patrick's Day every year on this day. Did you know? St. Patrick used a plant with three leaves called a shamrock to teach people about God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Some people believe that there are no snakes in Ireland because St. Patrick sent them all away. It is said that St. Patrick would talk for so long that his walking stick would grow roots into the ground. Did you enjoy learning about St. Patrick? I hope so. There were lots of fascinating facts in the text. At parents' evening, you were all given a home learning pack. Can you find your pencil and some lined paper? First, I would like you to write the title St. Patrick at the top of your page. I'm going to ask you some questions about the text. I want you to write your answers down on your piece of paper. I would like you to pause the video. You'll see an icon on the screen like this. 
when I have asked the question. This will give you time to write your answer. You can also pause the video at any time and go back through the text to find evidence to help you to answer these questions. Are you ready? Question 1 On which date do people celebrate St Patrick's Day? The 5th of March, the 16th of March, the 17th of March or the 30th of March? Choose one answer and write it on your answer sheet. Question 2 How old was St Patrick when he was taken to Ireland? Was he 14, 16, 18 or 20? Choose one answer and write it on your answer sheet. Question 3. What is a patron saint? Someone who is very special to Irish people. A saint who looks after and guides a person or place. A saint who has lived in Ireland. Or someone who was taken by a group of pirates. Choose one answer and write it on your answer sheet. Question 4. What was the name of the plant that St. Patrick used to teach people about God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit? Was it roots, thorns, Irish leaves or shamrock? Choose one answer and write it on your answer sheet. Question 5 One night he heard a telling him that he would be able to go home soon because a was waiting for him. Copy out the sentence, filling in the missing words, on your answer sheet. Question 6 how long did Patrick spend walking through the forest? Write your answer on your answer sheet. Question 7 Why do you think that Patrick felt unwell when he was in the forest? Write your answer on your answer sheet. How did you get on? Do you think you answered all of the questions correctly? Give yourself a tick if you did or fix your work if you had a different answer. Let's find out how you got on. Question 1 Question 2 Question 3 
question four. Question five. Question six. Question seven. Thank you for your hard work today. I'll see you again soon for some more comprehension fun. Bye.